Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 5. A prayer vigil was held in Brooklyn, Illinois for police officer Brian Pierce Jr. And he was killed on the McKinley Bridge last week, if you remember, trying to place spike strips at the end of a chase. Fox 2's Patrick Clark looks at the touching event. On this Wednesday, August 11th morning, community members and law enforcement honor a fallen officer. This is not somewhere that our family thought we would be today, but we are so overwhelmed with gratitude for each and every one of you that showed up here for our son today, escorting him home and all those small things that it took to get him home to us. Brooklyn police officer Brian Pierce Jr. was killed by a fleeing car on the McKinley Bridge last Wednesday. Tammy Pierce shared stories of her son, a nine-month member of the Brooklyn Police Department. Brian Pierce Jr. was also a lieutenant with the Macanda, Illinois Fire Department, making the weekly 100-mile drives between jobs. I found all those badges this week in his house. I counted 12. And as I, this week, as I put those in shadow boxes to hang on my wall, to remember my son and everything that he achieved, Described as a kind and dedicated public safety professional who made service to others his life's purpose, Pierce, while only 24 years old, had volunteered with the Ziegler Police Department and the Franklin County EMA and the Spillertown Police Department. The night Brian was tragically taken from us wasn't even his scheduled shift. He came in because he, want, he did not want one of his fellow officers to be out there at night. So for him to drive two hours each way every day showed the dedication that he had to this profession. He was so much more than a police officer and a lieutenant for our local fire department. His death was senseless along with so many others. It leaves a hole in our hearts, especially ours. An investigation continues into the August 4th event on the McKinley Bridge in Greenwich City, Illinois, Patrick Clark. Fox 2 News.